everyone welcome back to my channel I'm so glad you guys are here it is tasty Tuesday and today I'm going to be making some turtle brownies with the dip mix that I picked up while we were on vacation so the caramel apple dip mix and this is from country home creation so I'm gonna turn the camera around we're gonna make these together all right so for our ingredients we need the caramel apple dip mix and pecans chopped pecans eight ounces of cream cheese, a brownie mix of your choice. I'm using milk chocolate. And then the ingredients to make up the brownies, the eggs, the water. I don't have oil, so I'm substituting with melted butter. So we're gonna mix up the brownies. All right, so we're gonna mix up the brownies. So put the brownie mix in. And then our eggs. Water, which is a quarter cup water, and then two thirds cup of the oil, or in my case, butter. And then we're just going to stir something on that one. The brownie's up. All right, so we have the brownies mixed up. We are going to put it in a nine by nine, nine by nine baker, or is this my eight by eight? I forget. But we are going to mix these up, or bake these, not mix these, we already mixed them up. We're gonna bake them. So put them in. All right, so I'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven and bake them for about 30 to 35 minutes. And I'll be back. All right, so the brownies are out of the oven and they've cooled, so I'm gonna set them aside. And now we're going to mix up the cream cheese and the caramel dip. I have my mixer out here. So we're gonna put the cream cheese in. And we are going to, let me see, just mix these together. I just want to quickly look real quick. So we want to mix the cream cheese well first, get it kind of softened up, and then we're going to add in the caramel dip. If I can get this opened. Goodness. Getting the Meyer brand cream cheese doesn't come off the package very well like the um, Philadelphia cream cheese packages. Get everything off there. So I'm gonna mix it all up. All right, so that is mixed up. Lift you guys up just a bit. I 
I went on their website to get the link for my last video I did, and I saw some pretty good looking packages that I want to try out of different mixes and soups I think I saw on there. So I may have to order some stuff. All right, so we're gonna mix this all together. That smells really good. Wish we had smell vision here on YouTube. Take, I guess I use this one. Get everything off the mixer beater here. All right, so we have it all mixed up. Just going to scrape it down off the sides. cheese that didn't get mixed in so I'm just going to give it a good stir to get that incorporated now we're just going to spread this over the top of the brownies don't like that I'm not able to get everything out. Get my spreader. I'm just going to spread this around the top and then I'm going to sprinkle it with the pecans. And then we're going to put this in the refrigerator for two hours to let it chill and let the cream cheese harden back up just a bit. My brownies kind of pooped up in the middle. So we have that spread on top. Now we're just going to sprinkle it with the chopped pecans. If I can get them open. Struggling with opening packages today. So just sprinkle your pecans on top. That looks good. So this is a two ounce package of chopped pecans that I didn't use all of them. But I'm going to stick that in the refrigerator, let that cool for, or cool, let the cream cheese chill back up for two hours, and then I'll be back, cut myself a square, and give it a taste. I'll be back. All right, just pulled them out of the refrigerator. I'm going to cut one up and give it a little taste test. Okay, I'm going to take a taste test. That is oh so good. And according to my husband, that beats an everyday ordinary brownie. So I will have a link down below in the description box for a link for the recipe and for the website for the, the mix. Hope you guys try this out for yourself. And until next time, remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.